obviously you're going to get a lot of questions from my colleagues on on-field play. I'm just curious about the Raider environment for you off the field. Your thoughts on the organization, just how things are going, please. Uh, so far, it's been great. Um, you know, rich history. I mean, that's part of the reason I, I came here. Um, you know, just the communication, you know, from top to bottom has been great since we've been here. Um, you know, a big concern for players around the league was just the health and safety coming to this building, and I think they're doing a great job as well. Hey, Nick, it's Josh Schubert from Associated Press. Um, when John's talked about you wearing the green dot. Just, um, did you do that at all in Chicago? And just what are the, what are you sort of working on just in terms of being the, the communicator on the defense? Yeah, I did it a bunch in Chicago, um, off and on uh, since the time I've been there. Um, so it's something I'm used to, but just for here, I'm just kind of, right now, is just working on communicating with Corey. You know, he's right next to me, helping him with calls. Um, and then just, just overall communication with the defense. Um, we lost a lot of time in spring. So, I mean, just right now, I mean, that's a big part of what I'm trying to do on the field right now. Hey, Nick, it's uh, Tashawn Reed from The Athletic. Uh, I know we talked earlier this summer, you said you were kind of going through an acclimation period. Obviously, you have to do everything virtually. Um, how have you adjusted now that you've been able to be here in person and, and sort of start to work with the, the, the coaches that you've been working with through through these Zoom meetings and, and get, get in with your teammates? Uh, it's definitely a nice, you know, just to finally meet people in person, uh, kind of get an understanding of how things are going to work from here on out, and just being on the field. Uh, you know, it's you sit in Zoom meetings, you look at pictures, watch film. Uh, it's nothing like actually getting on the field and doing things, you know, working on technique, um, you know, just making those communications in person re rather than Zoom. So, I mean, just being here, is just a, just, it feels great. I mean, it's, it's very helpful. Hey, Nick, uh, Anthony of the Fresno B. I uh, just want to get your thoughts on uh, Corey Littleton. What's your uh, initial reaction or first impressions of Corey Littleton? Uh, initial impression, I mean, excited to play with him. Uh, you know, I got a chance to play against him last year, and, you know, just seeing him now, I mean, he's athletic, uh, just an all-around linebacker. He does a lot of things well, and uh, I'm excited to play, play next to him. Yeah, Nick, Jerry McDonald from the Bay Area News Group. Um, you signed. You were the first guy that the Raiders signed when the free agency hit. Just kind of curious about your, your your thoughts about what you expected going into free agency and what what it felt like to have a team target you like that and make you like their their the first guy they signed up. Uh, initially, going into free agency, you know, before everything kind of uh, picked up, I had I really had no idea what was going to happen. Uh, it was all one of those things, you know, just kind of playing it by ear. Um, and then for the Raiders to reach out so early and be interested, it was somewhere where I know where I was wanted. So it was something that I, I mean, it was a no-brainer for me. Um, how quickly can this defense get it together? And what are going to be the keys with such a condensed schedule uh, to, to, to getting this thing up and running as quickly as possible? Um, I would say just making the most of our time. Uh, you know, we're, fi we're finally here. Um, we're finally together. So just, you know, taking each day and, you know, getting the most out of it. Uh, I felt like we did a very good job during Zoom. So uh, over the spring, so coming in, I don't feel like there was many hiccups. I mean, we, we hit the ground rolling. I mean, it's been a good first week, first couple of days. Hi, Nick. Uh, Levi Damien from USA Today, SMG. Um, I take it coming into this process, you kind of had a pretty good idea what the Raiders wanted from you. Is this the first time you've ever gone into a season or, or an off season, like knowing that you were going to be the guy? And uh, and how does it, how does it feel? To, and how is your process different? Um, yeah, it is the first time I've done that. Um, the process for me, though, hasn't changed. Uh, I kind of had that mindset even in Chicago when there was a lot of unknown. Um, preparing like a starter, preparing like I was going to get reps. I mean, that was something I kind of prided myself on over the last couple of years. And that was something really we really prided just, you know, a lot, a lot of people around me are priding themselves on. So that's something that they taught me.
Hey, Nick, Paul Gutierrez here from uh, ESPN. Uh, on your way out of Chicago and on to the Raiders, did you get any parting words of advice from a former Raider in Khalil Mack? Um, you know, not really. I mean, he reached out, congratulated me, um, and that was about it. Um, you know, he was happy, uh, but n no advice, no advice. Hey, Nick, this is Vic from The Athletic. Uh, what are your impressions of uh, Paul Gunther's defense? How do you think you fit in? Um, Nick's impression is great. I um, mean, I said it back in spring. You know, I, I love the way he coaches, the scheme, everything's great. Um, now that I get to actually meet him in person, you know, be on the field with him. Um, I mean, he's been great. Um, just, you know, kind of putting a lot of things in in a short amount of time. I mean, barring the situation so far, I mean, it's, it's been awesome. It, well, in terms of uh, the, the the process of getting the def the defense up, up to speed, in, where where do you how do you go about that just in practice each day? How are you going to be able to do that? You think? Uh, biggest thing for me is communication. Um, you know, getting people lined up, making sure everyone's on the same page. Um, like I said before, I mean, we did a great job in spring. Guys have been in the playbook. So once once we got on the field, I mean, it's just a matter of getting getting things together, and I mean, everything has been smooth so far. And Nick, I'm curious as to have you know, the Raiders for a, for a long time now, whether it's communication or whatever, wise have had a lot of trouble covering running backs and tight ends. I mean, it's been pretty much an ongoing issue. What do you see from the group now that's going to make it so that this year it's different? Initially, I mean, just understanding, you know, who we're playing, you know, what what uh, coverage we're in, knowing your help is. I mean, for us right now, I mean, it's it's early, trying to get the defense down, but that's something we're gonna we. Uh, we kind of talk about every day and we're going to work on moving forward. Well said, guys. Thank you.